Lincoln Railer Football on WLCN 96.3 FM and streaming live at WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Brow Incorporated, Fifth Street Food Mart, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, The Carpet House, Rickham State Farm Insurance, Lincoln IGA, Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, Lincoln Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Eaton Corporation, Lincoln College, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Lincoln Printers, Chicago Street Reynolds, Timbercrest Veterinary Service, ALMH Farmers Market, Right Ideas Screen Printing and Embroidery, The Mama's RK Cafe, Collision Concept, Headline Salon, Nuthatch Hill Barbecue Company, State Bank of Lincoln, Mike Mosky Auction Service, Family Custom Cleaners Tanning and U-Haul, Gary's Drywall Finishing, Painting, and Power Washing. Charter Brothers Mechanical. Bex Travel Plaza. Flossie and Delzina's Gourmet Grind and Gifts. And by Lincoln Grand 8 Cinema. Mohammed. Looks like uh, a little change on the kickoff. Looks like that's number five. Is that who you're du picking up? That's Dewberry. Isaac Dewberry going to kick Isaac it off. Two guys back for Muhammad Seymour. The rail splitters get ready to go here. They'll kick it off to the Bulldogs of Muhammad Seymour. The Bulldogs won the toss, Bob, and they elected to receive, not to defer, so they're going to be on offense first tonight. Here's the boot end over end. It's caught at the 21-yard line, and they reverse. reverse the field on the handoff to the 30 along the sideline, 35. Avoids a couple tackles, spins, still on his feet, and he's finally knocked down. The reverse went to Josh Johnson. He's a senior, 6'1", 150, and he gets the football out to the 40-yard line. Good field position for Muhammad Seymour. Yeah, it looked like there was a little push on the back there against a railer here as they were coming to the sideline. The official was standing there but must not have seen it or determined it was not a, a clip. So uh, they're going to start on their own 40, as you said, Bob. Great field position. Jordan Veldman, their leading rusher. And the quarterback is Dawson Finch. Finch will operate out of the shotgun. He's got Veldman in the backfield, and they direct snap it to him. And he runs up across the five, and he's got a first down into Lincoln territory before he's finally brought down at the Lincoln 47-yard line. Well, that was a, um, just as you said, direct snap run up the middle, and that uh, Lincoln was trying to tackle him from behind and drag him down instead of getting in front of him, and he drug him for an extra yards and a first down. Split here to the uh, near side is Kyle Kinney. Finch again out of the shotgun, an early first down, and now he wants to throw. Finch looks, pressure by the rail splitters. They keep the pressure on. He comes to the left side. Now he's going to run with it along the sideline, and he runs out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So a seven-yard pickup there by the quarterback. And so it'll be second and three for Muhammad Seymour. Again, he took the direct snap and looked for a receiver. Couldn't find anybody right away. Felt a little pressure up the middle from the railers. Tried to go right. There's still pressure. Came to his left and found some running room to the sideline. Finch will operate again out of the shotgun. He's got two receivers here to the near side, two on the far side of the field. Now he's got a man in motion, and he hands to him, and he tries to take it around the right side, and he's wrapped up. Nice tackle there. Looks like that was, I believe, Dewberry for Lincoln. Yeah, yeah they ran the, go, the jet sweep. They put the uh, slot man in motion and handed off to him, trying to go to his right side. Dewberry, from his linebacker position, read that perfectly and came through untouched and made the tackle for our uh, body, uh, well, left. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, line of scrimmage, so it's going to be third and about three. Isaac Dewberry just threw Dylan Gates to the ground. He didn't let him go anywhere, so now, as Coach said, it's third and three. Finch out of the shotgun. He's got a tailback this time. Hands off to him, and that's ah. Gates. Stays on his feet. He's going to be close to a first down. Isaiah Bowers in on the tackle for the rail splitters. Yeah, it looks like he battled for an extra yard and got it down to about the 36 uh, for four yards and another first down. And uh, again, that was just a straight handoff and run up the middle and he had enough for a first down. Just across the 37-yard line, call it the 36. In the backfield, Tyler Kurtz with the quarterback, Dawson Finch. 
Pinch going to operate out of the gun. He's got a man in motion. Hands off to the tailback again. Right side. He's got some good blocking. He's down across the Lincoln 30 to around the 29-yard line. Dylan Gates, Austin Sparrow in on the tackle for the rail splitters. Call it the 28-yard line. About an eight-yard pickup. Nothing real fancy there, Bob. Just a straight handoff, straight run up the middle. And as you said, they're getting some nice blocking up front when well, they got some size up front, too. We have to see those numbers, but they had a 255-pounder and I think a 225-er on the front line. Yeah, I see, I see 71 out there for sure. He's 6'6", 225. Out of the gun. Second and two. Fake. Now they come right side. Gates, and he tries to dive up ahead. Thomas Morris was there. He's trying to pick up who else was there for Lincoln up front. Well, they didn't get fooled on that. They faked the pitch and then uh, handed off on a little bit of a reverse uh, action there, and Lincoln was right there to stop him for no gain. Gage Wilson was also there for the rail splitters. Third and two at the 28. 9-19 left for the first quarter. No score here for Muhammad Seymour. Finch out of the gun. Long count. And it's a direct snap. And they got a first down. Up the center. First down for Muhammad so Seymour. He's on about the 23, down. about a five-yard pickup. And uh, the quarterback is, is pretty deceptive, Bob. He does a nice job of faking, and uh, you got to find the ball. And that time the uh, Railers took a while before they did. That was Lucas Morgan on the run for Muhammad Seymour, the Bulldogs. Those orange uniforms, the navy blue pants, the white stripe. Here's the snap. And a man in motion, good pursuit by the rail splitters and brought down from behind, that was Thomas Morris. Excellent job by Thomas Morris. He came all the way from the other side of the field to drag him down from behind. About a six yard loss on that Morris. He was injured earlier in the season, Bob, and but he's back full, full force now and uh, did a nice job of uh, reading that play and getting across and making a stop for a loss. As you said, six yard loss. So now it's gonna be second and 16 near side hash marks. Finch out of the shotgun. He's got two running backs with him. He's going to roll to his right now. He's got plenty of time, and he wants to run, and now he throws it along the sideline. Is it complete? Is he waving that off? No. He says it's complete. Close to the first down marker. Josh Johnson was the guy that made the catch from Dawson Finch. It's on the 15, so they picked up about 14 on that. So it'll be third and two for the Bulldogs. 8.29 left for the first quarter. Finch again out of the shotgun. He's got two guys in the backfield. One receiver here on the near side, two on the right. They, oh, it's a direct snap. They faked it, and they get the direct snap. I have to see who that was on the run. It's on the front. Again, it's Morgan, Lucas Morgan, the ball carrier, number 27. He's a senior, 5'10", 170. It's like he's down to about the eight-yard line. Ryan Emmerd running the play in. He's a senior, 6'4", 200. First and goal for Muhammad Seymour. They run it out of the gun. Dawson Finch, then again another direct snap, and the rail splitters were there. They had it covered. 68 was there, 66 Schumard was there, and also Gage Wilson was there for the rail splitters. Shane Schumard and Gage Wilson stopped it. Looked like they lost maybe a yard or two. They put the ball back on about the, about the nine. Schumard did a nice, I'm sorry, Bob, did a nice job of uh, getting through the block and wrapping him up right away. Second and goal. This time, another direct snap and another railer there, and there's a flag on the play. Big hit by one of the rail splitters there. That was... Uh, Looked like 80. It might have been Andrew Schmidt, 91 for Lincoln. Face mask against the Railers. There's a flag. I saw the flag fly. The signal is a face mask against the Railers. And that was a second and goal at the nine. Let's see where they put it up to the five-yard line. So it'll be on the penalty. That is that again the first down? Yes, it is. It's a first down, first and goal at the five. Rail splitters trying to hold down in the red zone. Dawson Finch out of the shotgun, the junior, 
direct snap again and the rail splitters are there there were quite a few rail splitters there look like 91 coming off the pile that's Andrew Schmidt, Schmidt and, Wilson. and I can't see and Gage him. Wilson I think they just stopped him for no gain he's still at the five and now they're saying third and five I don't know if that's no, that, I think didn't give him the first down so now it's third and five man in motion snap to Finch rolls to his left no pressure he's got time throws it in the end zone touchdown that was Connor Thomason junior 5 10 160 on that five yard pass on the third and goal from the five Dawson Finch to Connor Thomason and Muhammad Seymour leads it 6-0 with 6.50 left here in the first quarter. They do not go for the extra point. They go for the two-point conversion. They have no kicker for the extra point. Now imagine they'll just direct snap this. There's a penalty on the play. They say Gates is in for the two, but let's see what the penalty is. Yeah, I think it's illegal motion on them. They move too fast. That's going to be a five-yard walk-off. So nullify the two points, and they'll have to try that again from five back from the original line of scrimmage. A nice drive there to open this uh, first quarter by Mohammed. They uh, marched down the field, started it on their own 40, had a nice field position. But marched down, mostly run, but then uh, completed pass there when they had a, a long, uh, what, a second long, I think it was. And then got the first down, then the touch jump uh, throw there into a five-yarder into the left side of the end zone. Yeah, that was Dawson Finch to Connor Thomason. Now they're going to have to try the two-point conversion from eight yards out from the goal line. Here's the snap. Gates going to throw it across. Picked off by Lincoln. Noah Funk picked it off. Good job by Noah Funk. Stepped right in the passing lane and stopped the two-point conversion. So that makes the score. Muhammad Seymour still six and the Lincoln Rail Splitter zero. We'll be back after this. Arcade Cafe, great homemade breakfast and lunch meals served at 513 Pulaski Street in historic downtown Lincoln from 735-1443. It is great. Drayden Posgay out of the shotgun. Got a man in motion. That's Bowers. Posegay wants to throw. Now he's under pressure. Now he throws it out ahead. Slapped away. Intended receiver out there was Isaac Dewberry, and it was slapped away by Kurtz, number 87, Tanner Kurtz. Dangerous pass, and he threw it up high for Dewberry, and Kurtz had to go up to slap it away. Yeah, there was good coverage. He had two uh, defenders near him there, and uh, I don't know if Posegay was trying to hit him or trying to throw it out of bounds, but uh, in either way, it was knocked down incomplete. Funk wide here to the near side. Dewberry in the slot. Bowers in the slot on the far side of the field. Now Dewberry goes in motion. He gets the handoff. Turns the afterburners on and he's knocked down for a loss back at the 26-yard line. So now it's going to be third and long for the rail splitters. Yeah, a little bit of penetration there from the defense. Uh, got through the line and forced Dewberry to go a little farther back and wider than he wanted. And they uh, caught up to him before he could turn a corner. About a four-yard, three-yard loss on it. They brought Tyson Opal in there for blocking for the rail splitters. A junior, 6'1", 280. Now the rail splitters on the far side hash mark. 6.03, first quarter, clock on the move. Posgay out of the shotgun. He's got re three receivers on the right side. He's got Cannon in the backfield to his left. Here's Posgay. Wants to throw, and that's all. Uh, Knocked down. Intended receiver again was Isaac Dewberry. And again, it was Kurtz there, number 87, Tanner Kurtz, to knock it away. So now it's going to be fourth down for the rail splitters. And Dewberry will have to punt it away. It'll be Justin Wynn on the long snap. That pass was just a little short there, but uh, good reason he didn't have much time to set his feet. There was some pressure coming in from the left end spot uh, untouched, and he had to let go of the ball quicker than he wanted to. Dylan Gates, one of the guys back for... Muhammad Seymour on the punt. Here's the snap by Wynn. The kick. A floater. A tough one to catch. And oh, it bounces foot. in front. Get hit his it. foot. And Funk grabs it. Lincoln ball. Should be. I don't know if it hit his foot, though. It sure looked like it. That was a good thought. Yeah. Tanner Kurtz. And they'll take over at the 
what is that, the 38 yard line. First and 10. I did think it hit his foot, but I guess it didn't. It, it, it kind of took a bounce backwards like it was bouncing off something. I guess it was the ground. He and Cub fans were used to looking at instant replay. They don't have it here. Here's the handoff in the backfield. That's Gates, and they wrap him up right at the line of scrimmage. That was Noah Funk, or is that Gage Wilson? I'm sorry, Gage Wilson was there. The Raiders have uh, done a little bit of adjusting there. They're doing a better job stopping uh, the run at the line of scrimmage, at least so far they have. Connor Thomason checks into the lineup for the Bulldogs. Gage Wilson's having a good night here in the first quarter. 525 left for the first quarter. Well, the Raiders are, are, have decent size up front, too, defensively, but not quite as big as the offensive line. Finch out of the shotgun. He's got a man in motion. Now he's got the snap. Hands off to his tail. And he's got a gain out to around the 44-yard line. Tackle was made by Isaac Dewberry for the rail splitters. They're going to mark it at the 43-yard line. Big third down coming up for the Railers now. It's third and five. If they can stop and force a punt, that will kind of stop the offensive momentum that Muhammad has right now. Headline Salon, LLC. Visit Brett, Liz, Jenna, and Danielle at 123 South Sangamon in historic downtown Lincoln. Phone 217-651-8310 with walk-ins. Welcome. That's Headline Salon on Sangamon Street. Third and five, as Coach said. Gates goes in motion. Finch on the long count. Low snap. Picks it up. Finch has got time, looks for a receiver up the middle, oh, and no. it's complete. He did a juggling act. That was number five, Jordan Veldman, and he juggled it a couple times, but he made the catch for the first down down into Lincoln Territory at the 42-yard line. Collision Concepts, located at 1005 Macon, next to Culver's and Lincoln. Logan County's premier collision facility wishes the best of luck to the 2017 Rail Splitter football team. That Go a, Rail Splitters. That was a 15-yard reception there. They flooded the right side with three receivers, put one on the left, and that's who he hit out here on the left side. Muhammad Seymour leads Lincoln 6-0 with 4.03 left in the first quarter here for Muhammad Seymour. Here's a hand off the gates. Right side, still on his feet, and taken away by Isaiah Bowers. Ripped it right out of his hands. Bowers with the football, and he's knocked out of bounds in front of the... Uh, Muhammad Seymour bench. He didn't even try to tackle it. He just grabbed the ball out of Gates' hands and a big play by Isaiah Bowers. That's the one you like to see a replay of. Yeah, you're right. He just snatched it away from him. Uh, he had a nice run before the uh, fumble. Holding against the rail splitters. That's, I assume that was after the after the turnover. Bowers got down around the 43-yard line. He had he, he gets a head of steam run. He, he takes that ball deep there in the backfield, Bob, and he hits the line of scrimmage full speed, and he went through the uh, initial line. But as you said, Bowers was right there and, and just took it away from him. The infraction was at the 36, so they now march it back to the 26-yard uh, line. But the good thing is it's going to be Lincoln football. You're right, Coach. Once Isaiah Bowers gets rolling downfield, he, he's tough to stop. Yeah. That was a nice play. Big break for the Railers. Justin Wen splits here to the near side. Posgay out of the shotgun. First and ten. Hands it off to Cannon, and Cannon makes his way up to the... May have lost it. Yeah, he got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard... I think they're going to spot it at the 27. Yeah, we thought we thought that uh, going into the game it'd be hard to run up that middle, and uh, that time they stopped him, as you said, maybe maybe a yard, but that was a tough one right there. So the second and nine, clock on the run, 3:23 left, first quarter. Muhammad Seymour leads Lincoln 6-0. Win here to the near side. Dewberry in the slot. Posgay out of the shotgun and Bowers out of the slot on the left side. Now he goes in motion and they hand it off to him. Bowers over on the right side, the 30, breaks the tackle and dives up ahead to the 35-yard line. Eight-yard pickup there by Isaiah Bowers. Isaiah Bowers is the ball carrier. Yeah, he went airborne there to, to get that well, extra yard or two. Not side. quite to the first down marker, but he got it out close. Now they're marking it on about the 34. Nut 
Hatch Hill Championship Barbecue Company now accepting your catering events and bulk quality orders. That's a Nut Hatch Hill Championship Barbecue. Phone 217-737-3468 or 217-671-0690. Posgay out of the shotgun. Third and a deuce. Cannon lines up on the left side of him. Posgay wants to throw. He's got it out in the open. He's got Bowers. He tries to make the first down and he's got it. Bowers across the first down marker. Up around the 38-yard line, and they're going to move the chains with 219 left in the first quarter. Lincoln on the move. He didn't have the first down when he caught the ball, Bob, but uh, as you said, he battled and battled and uh, had people hanging on to him and got the first down out to about 37. Lincoln quickly to the line of scrimmage. Posgay, the sophomore, out of the shotgun. Cade Schmidt will snap it to him. He hands off Cannon, tries to take it up the middle, and he may have got a yard out of it. It's tough going up the middle, as you said, Coach. Cannon off the right side. First time he tried it off the left, this time off the right side, and they spotted it at the 38, so it's going to be second and nine again for the rail splitters. Yeah, another tough yard for uh, Titus there to uh, try to go through the middle, but they got four down linemen uh, that play a 4-3 defense, and uh, that makes it uh, tough running space. Jack Vaughn on the tackle for Muhammad Seymour. Win here to the near side. Bowers in the slot on the near side. Posgay waits for the snap from Schmidt. He's got it. Pitches it to Cannon. Cannon's going to take it wide. He's at the 40. Stays on his feet. 45 and finally out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Nice eight-yard run by Titus Cannon. Not a first down, but close. It, lo it looked almost like uh, Mohammed Seymour Bulldogs. They kind of thought he was going to go out of bounds, but he stayed in bounds and got a few extra yards there. Got a nice block on the perimeter there by his other uh, running back, Isaiah Bauer. That's right, Coach. There's no quitting Titus Cannon. He's not going out of bounds. He's going to try to keep going upfield with a minute 21 left in the first quarter. Third and one for the rail splitters. Near side hash mark. Posgay in the backfield. He's got Cannon off to his right. Gives it to Cannon. Looks for the first down. He dives up ahead and he gets it to the 48. A two yard pickup there by Titus Cannon and the rail splitters will advance the chains. That time, that, excuse me, Bob. That time he just sliced off the left side. Uh, got a little block from the tackle guard on the left side and uh, sliced his way up to the 48 for the first down. Memorial Sports Care, Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital. Phone 217-605-5008. Stop by the beautiful all-new facility located at 200 Stallhead Drive in Lincoln. That's Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital. One of our fine sponsors. Posgay out of the shotgun. First and 10 at the Lincoln 48. Bowers goes in motion. Posgay wants to throw. Looks, looks. Pump fake. Run. Now he's going to run it. He's across the 50 the to the 45. Away. Posgay up to the 40 to the 35. 30 and dives up to the 25-yard line. Wise decision by the young sophomore, Drayden Posgay. Big run all the way down to the Muhammad Seymour 26-yard line. Yeah, he, on the tackle. He wanted to make a pass there. He looked for receiver, got a little pressure from the right side, his right side, but he had time and then saw the left side totally open and he tucked it away. Took him a while to tuck it away. He was carrying it one-handed, but before contact, he tucked it away and dove forward to the 26. Well, he heard you, Coach. You told him to tuck it away, and he did exactly that. And you can see the maturity in game eight. Posgay tucked that in the way and took off. Schmidt will snap it. Who's he going to snap it to? He snaps it to Posgay and he hands it off to Cannon and he, no, yeah, Cannon and he just gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be second and ten for the rail splitters. Yeah, nice defensive play there to get no through and, and wrap him up, as you said, for no gain. And that's going to wind down the first quarter with the score. Muhammad Seymour, six. Lincoln rail splitter, zero. We'll be back in a minute. One quarter of Lincoln Rail Splitter football. I'm Bob Aderber along with Coach Ken Schweitzer. Paula Kodat back at the station engineering it. Lloyd Kirby is filming it for you, putting it in the archives. And the Rail Splitters down by six points, but they're on the move, Coach. They're down to the Muhammad Seymour 26-yard line. Yeah, that's exactly what they need to do, keep the ball away from Muhammad's offense. This drive started on their own 26, so in eight plays they've gone 50 yards. 
take it into uh, Mohammed territory, getting close to the red zone on the 26th. Uh, it's a second and long, second and about nine, second and ten for the Raiders here as we start this second quarter. State Bank of Lincoln serving the area for over 112 years with four locations in Lincoln and two in Clinton. Proud to be Lincoln Rail Splitter supporters. That's the State Bank of Lincoln. Drayden Posgate going to operate out of the shotgun. Second and 10 from the Muhammad Seymour 26-yard line. Tynus Cannon lined up to his right. Posgate's going to throw it out. He's got Noah Funk. Funk on the run, and he's taken down at the 13-yard line. Noah Funk with a 13-yard pass play and a first down for Lincoln. As Funk fights his way down to the 13, make it the 14-yard line. Tanner Kurtz on the tackle for Muhammad Seymour. That was just a nice pass there to his wide receiver there. Funk was, uh, they were playing off him just a little bit, and he made a nice catch and, and went straight downfield to about the 14. Pose Gay back in the huddle. He's got the play from head coach Matthew Sokowski. Raylers come to the line of scrimmage. Funk lined up here to the near side. Three receivers on the right side. Wen, Newberry, and Bowers. Pose Gay out of the shotgun. And now he's going to throw it out in the flat. He's got Bowers. He tries to make oh. the turn. And there's a penalty on the play. Bowers goes into the end zone. But what's the flag? It's going to be holding on Dewberry out there. He was blocking on the perimeter, and the guy turned a little bit. I, I think it's probably a decent call. I'd like to see it again. But uh, he just didn't let him go soon enough. He just kind of hung on a little long. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. It would have been a touchdown from the 14. Early second quarter. Too bad, coach. Yeah, Lincoln's second penalty, and that one hurt uh, worse than the first one. But uh, negates a touchdown. It was a nice pass uh, to his slot man, Bauer. And Bauer was trying to get a block from the wide receiver, Dewberry. And again, Dewberry had the penalty. So it's going to be a 10 yard walk off for, I guess, the Raiders. Takes it back to the 26. Still, still uh, first down. So it goes from the point of the hold. The hold must have been at the 16. Yeah, then. exactly. Yeah. First and 22 for the rail splitters. First and 22. Three receivers to the left this time on the far side hash mark. Cannon lines up on the right side of Posgay. Posgay gives it to Cannon. He's going to try and run it around the end. Here he does. He's at the 30. 25 still on his feet across the 20 yard line. Nice run by Titus Cannon. He got some good blocking out there in the open field. Yeah, those those wide receivers, they come back and make some nice blocks there. Bauer made the last one, and he uh, just gave a little bump there. He didn't want to do too much and get in, in trouble there, and he made a nice little bump that helped uh, Cannon turn the corner. Maurice Mendenhall on the tackle for Muhammad Seymour, the Bulldogs. Second and 15 for the rail splitters at the... Muhammad Seymour 19 yard line early second quarter Muhammad Seymour leads at 6-0 over the rail splitters Posgay out of the guns got the snap he's gonna keep it he rolls right throws got his receiver that's Isaac Dewberry nice duck and now another oh. penalty on the play another penalty on the play nice pass to Dewberry an official on the far side of the field calls a penalty yeah, that was way past, it's on the Railers. That was way after, uh, away from the official. Let's see what that call is. 10.25 left for the second quarter. Chicago Street Rentals stopped by their beautiful huge location at 1909 North Kickapoo Street, right next to Grau Incorporated, specializing in the rentals of contractors' equipment, tools, yard machinery, almost anything you need. Ask about monthly storage rentals, too. Phone 217-735-2422 today. That's Chicago Street Rentals. Another penalty hurts the Railers. So now it's going to be second and 20 for the Railers at the 24-yard line of Muhammad Seymour. Noah Funk lined up. Here to the near side. Three receivers on the slot, left side, also with Isaac Dewberry and Isaiah Bowers. Here's the snap, and he's going to keep it. That's Posgay. Throws it. He's got his man along the sideline, and he's finally rustled out of bounds. I didn't pick up who the receiver was, but he got good yardage on the play. Um, it might have been Bauer again. I think that was Bauer again. So he came all the way from the far side of the field from the slot. Let's see what they give him. It was second and 20 at the 24. The 12 or 13, I think. They stopped the clock as he went out of bounds at 9.57 second quarter, and they're going to say it's third and nine at the 13. This time we line up 
Go ahead, Coach. No, that was just an 11-yard 11, uh, 11 pickup, a nice uh, chunk of uh, real estate to pick up there on that down. Now there's a flag. Another over. flag. They're raining flags on us here at Muhammad Seymour. Offsides against Muhammad Seymour. Should be another five walk-off. It is, so that's going to take it down to the eight-yard line of Muhammad Seymour. Well, that was a good, uh, a good little penalty for the Railers. Gets the ball down, as you said, to the eight and makes a third down play much more manageable. Third down for Lincoln. Here we go. Ball Funk split line. here to the near side, and the slot is Bowers. Cannon on the right side of Posgay. Posgay over the middle. He's got Funk, and he is touchdown. in for the touchdown. Yeah. Noah Funk. Beautiful pass play to yeah. Noah Funk. Touchdown. And we have us a tie game here. 6-6. Six, six. Lincoln Rail Splitters 6. Muhammad Seymour 6 with 9 minutes and 52 seconds left in the first quarter. And it will be Alex Bodanich, number 22, the sophomore, to attempt the extra point on the long snap. It'll be Justin Wynn on the placement. It will be Isaac Dewberry. Bodanich. Wynn on the snap. It'll be Cannon on the placement. Here's the placement. Here's the kick. Shot through the uprights, and Lincoln leads it 7-6. With 9.52 remaining in the first quarter, we'll be back after this. Two left in the second quarter, and now Isaac Dewberry is going to kick it away for the rail splitters. He kicks it from his own 40, low sidewinder, and it's going to go out of bounds. No. no, no, he picked it up, but he, he, it was already out of bounds. Noah Funk was there to tackle him, and let's see where they mark it at. That's the... Uh, 26-yard line would be first and 10 for Muhammad Seymour. I think actually if he let it go out of bounds, they'd have got a little better field position. I think they put it on about the 35, kick it out of bounds. But uh, yes, sir. Lake will take that. That uh, drive for the Railers started on their own 26. It was a 12-play, 74-yard drive that resulted from the touchdown. I had a couple penalties, but overcame those and got the six points. And when you look back, it was that... Uh, Theft by Isaiah Bowers when he took the ball away, and that started that drive for the rail splitters. Here's the snap to Finch. Finch was it must have been a direct snap. He just faked that. Ended, that ended up being uh, the direct snap to Lucas Morgan. They lost two on the play, so uh, didn't fool the railers that time on defense. Lincoln defense had got some momentum going now. Senior night here at Muhammad Seymour. Ahmed Seymour in the orange uniforms. They look a little like Rochester down there, don't they? Uniform-wise. They do, yes, sir. And the rail splitters. And the road whites with the red numerals. Oh, there's a fumble, fumble on the on ground. Snap. Railers, I think, got it. I think they've got they it. Got, I don't know who got it, but... Might have been... Um, that Might have been, I don't know. I, it could have been Gage Wilson. They're, yeah, it's Gage Wilson. They're slapping him around out there, giving him five, slapping him on the back. We'll give it to Gage Wilson. Rail splitters with the football at the, 17, what is that? 17. 17 yard line, first and 10 for Lincoln. All right, let's go penalty free. When lined up to the right side in the slot, it's Dewberry. Bowers in the slot here on the near side. Posgay out of the shotgun. Funk wide to the left. Pump fake, now he's in trouble. Runs out of harm's way, and now he throws it along the sideline, and he may have made the shoestring catch going out of bounds, he's going to say, incomplete. Second and 10, Lincoln at the 17. We got a little block in the backfield there by Cannon to uh, give him some extra time, but as he rolled to his right, tried to throw it. I think the throw was a little, I don't know if it was wide or low, but it was uh, tough to catch, and it went incomplete. Funk now taking the signal for coach for the play, and he takes it into the huddle. Second and 10 for the 9.03, clock stops after the incompletion left in the second quarter. Lincoln Rail Splitter 7, Muhammad Seymour Bulldog 6. Posgay out of the gun. He's got two receivers on each side. He gives it to Cannon. No, he keeps it. Now he throws it up ahead. Complete along the sideline. I believe that's Isaac Dewberry with a first down as he goes out of bounds. I believe Dewberry, it was. The sophomore made the catch and a first down for the rail splitters. 
There's a nice uh, fake in the middle there to Cannon, and Posgay rolled to his right and found Dewberry coming across and hit him for the first down. Dewberry taking a break. He goes to the sideline. That was a 12-yard pickup on the pass. First and goal for the rail splitters at the four-yard line. Posgay, shotgun, Cannon to his right. Titus Cannon, the senior. Titus Cannon with the football. Right side, tries to knife through, and he got down there close. He made some yardage on that play on the first and goal from the four. Brought down short of the goal line. Far side of the field. Looks He's down to the one. One yard line. Second and goal at the one. Rail splitters have come up with some big plays. Stolen ball by Bowers, and then a fumble recovery by Gage Wilson. And now they stand one yard away from their second touchdown of the game with 8.03 left here in the second quarter. Play is blown dead. What's he calling? Illegal procedure? Traveling. Traveling. <laughs> against Ball Lincoln. Start against Lincoln. Ball start. Backs him up five yards. Backs us up five. So now it's going to be second and goal from the six. Well, well, it gives us a little more room to operate. I suppose they overcame a couple penalties on the last drive, so they don't need to do it here again, but it's only second down, so they've got several there downs to get it into the end zone. 7.49 left for the half. Lincoln leads at 7.6, and they're knocking on the door. Right Posgay out of the shotgun. Second and goal at the six. He rolls to his left, looks for Funk, uh, and he is smothered in the backfield. All the way back to the 19-yard line. Uh, didn't get rid of it. No, uh, that's the one thing you didn't want to happen is lose yardage on a play like that. Uh, all the way back to the 20. Ball spotted at the 20, and now it's going to be third and goal from the 20. So you got two plays to get it in. Who do you look for out there? Bowers, Funk. Yes, and yes, either one. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, when you're when you're doing that, he, he, he's just got to figure out. He's got to get rid of the ball somehow. He's got three receivers on the right. Dewberry's over there. Cannon to his left. Throws it out in the flat, and that's Bowers. He breaks a tackle, but he just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the defense for uh, Mohammed. They kind of uh, smelled that one out, and uh, they were right there to make the stop after the catch. Bowers really didn't have much chance to find any back. running room. They're going to have to go for pay dirt now. Ball spotted back. It's on the 20. Short at the 20, yeah. Clock on the move. They're going to try a field goal here. It's going to be a long one. He'll hit a low line drive maybe. It's on the, uh, we're going to spot it on about the 27 yard line, make a 37 yarder. Second one, Bodanich has tried this year. Alex Bodanich, the sophomore. Here's a placement by Cannon. Here's the boot, and it's going to be short. No good. So, Muhammad Seymour will take over first and ten, but uh, the rail splitters had their chance there. Yeah, they had it down to the six-yard line, and then the sack was the killer on that play. Lost 14 yards and made it third and long, and uh, weren't able to get it in on third down went for the field goal and it was a little short and a little low family custom cleaners tanning 24-hour laundromat service and u-haul dealer located at 621 woodlawn road in lincoln watch for dry cleaning and super tanning specials with 24-hour laundromat available phone 735-2505 for more information that's the family custom cleaners dawson finch going to operate out of the shotgun for muhammad seymour first and 10 at his own 20. He's going to hand off to his tail back and he's knocked down. Rail splitters with a good job of getting in there quickly. That was Dylan Gates on the run. Isaac Dewberry on the tackle for the rail splitters. He plays on both sides of the ball. Looks like about a one yard pickup, coach. Yeah, Dewberry just stunted from his uh, linebacker position and uh, came in untouched. Got him from behind. Clock on the move. If anything, Lincoln burned up a lot of time there with the lead. Man in motion, Finch, Gates, he's not, he's not going very far. You know, they have the same trouble as the Railers who are trying to run between the tackles. Uh, a lot of bodies there and it's hard to find space. Baldwin was there, 
and a few other railers. They might have given him a yard maybe at the most. Yeah, so it'll be third and eight. The 22-yard line. line. Big play here. Big yeah. play defensively for the rail splitters. Yeah, cover the receivers. Finch out of the shotgun. And he's going to keep once to throw. Oh, good pressure. Pick it, pick it. it. Oh. Incomplete. Cannon was there. He went up for the interception, but great coverage there by, I believe, Austin Sparrow it was. Sparrow was on the man. Cannon went for the pick, but it's incomplete, so now it's fourth and eight. Yeah, there was two white jerseys there to cover that uh, one receiver, and they did a nice job. Almost got a pick, but knocked it uh, incomplete. They're going to punt it away. This is uh, Dylan Gates. Punt. Low line. Not, the, not, a, not a Dewberry punt. Just it's going to die just across the 50 at the 49. So the Railers with a nice field position after that defensive stop. Yeah, absolutely. Not a, not a great punt there. And, uh, you know, the, you can see where the, uh, their kicking game isn't where they probably like it. Uh, they don't kick extra points. And now their punt was a little low. But uh, Railers have great field position on their own 49. Bright idea. Screen printing, embroidery, and unique gifts. Your everything rail splitter. Headquarters stop by the showroom located at the corner of Clinton and Sangamon Streets in Lincoln and phone 732-3312 specializing in large team orders with great team discounts. This time the Railers going out of the wing formation. Pitch in the backfield and that is Isaiah Bowers. Man, he is tough. He's still on his feet. They still haven't blown the whistle. There's 18 guys on him. He's across the 45 down to about the 44. Man, he's a tough hombre. He is tough to take down, and he uh, picked up most of those yards on his own, but uh, took him a long time to blow it dead. They must have thought he might still go for a few extra yards. He's down to the 44-yard line. Second and three for the rail splitters. 4-16 left for the half. Lincoln leads Muhammad Seymour 7-6. Wing formation. Posegate waits for the snap from Schmidt. Long count. Tries to pull him offside. Cannon goes in motion. Cannon with a football. Spins. And he's knocked down for about a yard, two-yard loss. That time they came out in the tight formation that we saw last week for the first time tonight. Uh, tried to get some uh, get, get him to the edge on the right side, but uh, there was not a lot of blocking there on the right side. And uh, Muhammad came across stopping for about two-yard loss. Now it's going to be third and five for the rail splitters. At the 46-yard line, Wynn split here to the near side. Funk on the far side of the field. Dewberry and Bowers in the slot. Cannon's going to line up to the left side of Drayden Posgay. Schmidt will snap it. Posgay, yo, oh, man, he's in trouble. In trouble. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. The, well, no, 49. Yeah, he's going to lose down. about five or six on yeah. that play. Fourth down on the 48, yeah. You got the clock stopped at 3.05 left. They spotted at the Lincoln 48. Fourth and 11 for the rail splitters. It had been a great time for a screen pass. I'm not sure that's in their uh, playbook, but a screen right there with all that pressure coming would have been a great call. Timeout on the field. We'll take a 30-second timeout, and we'll be back with Lincoln Rail Splitter football. The Railers lead at 7-6. Lincoln Rail Splitter football for Muhammad Seymour. I'm Bob Verderber, along with Coach Ken Schweitzer, Paula Kodat Engineering, Lloyd Kirby filming. Rail Splitters at a 4th and 11 situation at their own 48. Justin Wen's going to snap it back to Isaac Dewberry, and he'll punt it away. He's an excellent punter. Low snap, picks it up. Boots it away. Man, he gets one off there. Spiral going to take a Lincoln bounce. Get him. Muhammad yeah. Seymour tried to run with it. Big mistake. Chad Baldwin was there along with the number two. That's Brandon Schweitzer to knock him down. So it'll be first and ten for Muhammad Seymour. Yeah, he took a little chance there with three white shirts right around him and uh, made the catch, and Lincoln stopped him right there. Gary's Drywall Finishing, Painting, and Power Washing, Central Illinois' choice for over 13 years. Choose who's the pro. Use Gary's Drywall phone 309-275-9189. Dawson Finch out of the shotgun. He's got a man in motion. First and 10 for Muhammad Seymour. He wants to throw. He's got time. Going to throw it along the sideline. Incomplete. 
intended receiver was Dylan Gates. There was a gap in there. He had outran the uh, Lincoln coverage, but the pass was long. Yeah, lucky for the, the Railers, but yeah, he is open, <laughs> running down that, uh, heading to the sideline. So uh, if that ball was a little shorter, they might have had some huge yardage. Second and 10. The Muhammad Seymour 24-yard line. Muhammad took that time out there uh, just before the Lincoln punt to try to save a little time here before halftime to hopefully get some offense going. Finch can operate out of the gun. He's got a tailback this time. He's got a man in motion. Second and 10. Flips it to Dylan Gates in the backfield. Gates has got, whoa, Gates is knocked down. Gets uh, across the, down. to the 27 yard line. Somebody wrapped him up pretty good. Oh, Sparrow gets shoved from behind out there. Sparrow on the tackle. Yeah, Sparrow hit him pretty good. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. One of the cheap shot from behind there, a kidney shot as Sparrow was walking away from the field. Dylan Gates is hobbling off the field. Let's hope he's not hurt too bad. He's a good athlete from Muhammad Seymour. Ball, let's see where they got it at, Coach, at the 27? Yeah, Three-yard pickup. Yeah, three or four yards, yeah. For Sturman Gates. For yeah, Gates, is, uh, Gates has got the, he's their, one of their leading ball carriers, and now he's uh, limping off here. But you're right, Sparrow made a great tackle, just hit him solid straight on and stopped him in his tracks. Third down, seven yards to go, Muhammad Seymour. Another big play for the Railer defense. Man in motion. Finch, low snap, it's on the ground. Now he picks it up. Now he slips. He wants to throw. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the pressure, baby. Man, they ran him down. That was Thomas Morris, the sophomore. Man, he was on the hunt. There's a late flag out there. Thomas Moore has some speed. He, he outran him to the sideline and made a nice tackle. Thomas Morris, a sophomore, 5'10", 200-pounder. He can flat out get it. Oh, come on. Call a penalty against Lincoln. Personal foul against the Railers. 219 left in the half, and they call a personal foul on the rail splitters. Well, they're going to get a first down out of that. They step it off. They're still going to be in Muhammad Seymour territory, I believe. Yeah, it keeps the drive going with over two minutes, though, so yeah. At the 43-yard line of Muhammad Seymour. They're moving the chains right now. As I said, Gary's drywall, finishing painting and power washing. Ask about their fall savings special on your no-obligation complimentary commercial. Here's the snap. And Finch wants to throw. Did he get it? Inbounds? Yep. He did. That's number 85, Connor Thomason, the junior, and another first down, 5'10", 170. Good bullet pass to Thomason along the sideline, so they'll move the chains. <laughs> Gary's drywall, residential estimate today. Ball at the Lincoln. About a 14-yard pickup on the play. 42-yard line. Defense going to have to step up again. Clock was stopped at 2.07. Man in motion. Dawson Finch got the snap. Wants to throw again. Here comes the pressure. Throws it up, the, and it's caught. Down to the 25-yard line, that is Jordan Feldman. And another first down. Passing game now working for Muhammad Seymour. He started on the right side and just drug across the uh, where the linebackers usually play, Bob, and it was open, and they made a nice pass and catch. Baylor defense going to have to hold it down. Andrew Schmidt, Shane Schumar, Gage Wilson up on that front line. Defensive backs are going to have to watch that pass along with the linebackers. Direct snap this time. Lucas Morgan, Lucas Morgan and it looked Down like uh, is that Thomas Morris on the no that's Austin Sparrow Austin Sparrow on the tackle for Lincoln second and one yard for Muhammad Seymour clock on the move minute, minute 28 left for the first half Lincoln leads at 7-6 over Muhammad Seymour they go direct snap again shotgun formation and it goes to Finch, rolls to his left. Here comes the Lincoln pressure. Here they come along the sideline. Tries to lob it, nothing there. So it's going to be third and one for Muhammad Seymour at the 16-yard line. Good pressure there by the rail splitters Good and pressure. coverage. And you're right, Bob, and he did a nice job, uh, the smart thing, throwing the ball away there and uh, live for the next play. Dylan Gates is back on his feet. He's all right. He's coming back in there after that hit by Austin Sparrow. Also back in there is the man that caught the big pass, Connor Thomason for Muhammad Seymour. 
They'll line it up at the 16, third and one. No quarterback sneak here. Quarterback formation. I mean, pardon me. Quarterback is in the shotgun formation. Dawson Finch, the junior. Lincoln offsides. Yeah, they might have moved too. Let's see. They'll call that on Lincoln, I imagine. Nope. Oh, gets, it, it goes against Muhammad Seymour. And that's uh, backfield in motion. Well, uh, no, I think it was the left guard that maybe moved just a momentarily a little okay. flinch, and that made the Lincoln defender move too. So we weren't sure how they were going to call it, but they uh, made the right call and called it on the first movement. It wasn't the backfield. I just thought of some old song on the jukebox back at the Lincoln Lakes. I don't know what's yeah, wrong with you me. You sang it all the way over here. Boy. Yeah, pretty boring. <laughs> but the 21, third and six for the rail splitters. Finch. Out of the shotgun, a minute 11 left in the half. Man in motion. Finch back to pass. Come on, put some pressure on him. Rolls right, throws, incomplete. Good pressure by the rail splitters and good coverage again. So now it's going to be fourth and six at the 21. Well, he sees that pressure, he gets some pressure from his backside. Then he says he's rolling right, he sees it coming a little quicker from the front side and... Uh, let it go, but couldn't get it down there accurately. It'll be four Minute four, 64 seconds left on the first half clock. Lincoln Rail Splitter seven. Muhammad Seymour six. Timeout. Muhammad Seymour will be back in 60. Lincoln Rail Splitter football. Big play here. Fourth and six at the 21. Muhammad Seymour with the football. Minute four left for the half. Lincoln leads at seven six. Finch back to pass. Back to pass. No, he's now he's going to uh. run with it. He's going to come around the right side, and he's going to run it out of bounds and stop the clock with a first down with 55 seconds left on the clock. Lincoln did everything right except to grab the quarterback. Uh, that was the same way earlier in the, in the uh, game when Posgay found running room to his left side, and uh, pretty much the same situation there was wide open. He had cleared that spot with a deep route from his left side and broke through and made the big, big run. 55 seconds left. Now it's going to be first and goal at the eight for Muhammad Seymour. 55 seconds, man in motion. Finch out of the gun, direct snap. Right side, the rail splitter's there. That Dewberry. is Isaac Dewberry with the big play. Right. Isaac yeah, Dewberry with the big play. Austin Sparrow came to finish it off, but Dewberry was the man that threw him to the ground. They got three on that, down to the five. The clock's running at 38 seconds left. They still have one timeout remaining. Second and goal, and his coach said at the five. Snap to Finch. Finch looks, fires, complete. Ah. In for the touchdown. Broke two tackles, went in for the touchdown. That was Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson, the touchdown on the pass from Dawson Finch, makes the score. 12 for Muhammad Seymour, 7 for Lincoln, 20 seconds left in the half. Well, Lincoln had a couple chances to stop him after the catch, Bob. He caught him just about at the 5 or 4-yard line, and there were two railers there. Neither one was able to take him down, and he sidestepped and went in for the touchdown. And they'll go for the 2. Bench out of the gun. They may direct snap it. They do. Direct snap, handoff, Gates. And we, I think we still, now they push him in. We had stopped him, and then they push him in. So the score now, Muhammad Seymour, 14, Lincoln, 7. We'll be back. Seconds left in the half. The big guy's going to boot it, and it's picked up on the far side of the field by Isaac Dewberry. Dewberry on the right side, on the run, along the sideline, knocked down at the 35-yard line. 14 seconds, enough time to get a playoff here for Lincoln. Uh, I'm sure that if the Raiders could get a big one here, they do, they do have a couple timeouts, uh, three actually, but that's not much time on the clock. They've got plenty of speed if they can get a, a pass to one of their speedsters out there in the open field. First and 10 for Lincoln at their own 36-yard line. 14 seconds remains in the first half. Muhammad Seymour leads Lincoln 14-7. Posgay will probably go for a sideline pass. Try to get us downfield. Out of the gun. Throws it up the middle incomplete. Tended receiver 
Isaiah Bowers. Uh, his Bauer, Dubair was in the area too, but he never turned around and looked when the ball came. Uh, he just got rid of it quickly. Took three seconds off the clock, 11 seconds, second and 10 at the 36. Had Warner made a catcher, they were, they were past the linebackers. They had a little running room there. Here we go. They wind it up. Bosgay gives off Cannon right side, and he runs it up to the 40. Cannon the ball here. Timeout. No, they're just going to let her run out. That's the end of the first half with the Benton score. Mohammed Seymour, 14, Lincoln Rail Splitters, 7. We'll be back after these messages from our fine sponsors. 